Hi there, year one and two. Mr. Gibbs here from Art Victoria Academy. This is just a little bit of a different sort of video, more of a PE lesson uh, focused uh, activity video for you guys to do at home. Uh, we're going to do a little warm up, uh, a activity with a ball and also a little competition which you guys will be doing amongst your own year groups. Okay, so we've got five different cones in front of us and each of them need require you guys to do something different okay now before we start we need a good amount of room around us so if you've got a space outside in the garden or a room which doesn't have many things that could possibly hurt you inside or trip over that'd be fantastic if not we can just be doing it in a fairly spaced area and just be doing it on the spot okay so i've got five different cones in front of me I've got a red, green, blue, yellow and orange. Now if you remember it from our P lessons, this is something called the traffic cone game. Okay? We've got a red one, which means we need to be stop and stand still. A green, which of course is go. Blue, which is the jumping cone. Yellow, which is lie down. And orange, which is sit down. Okay? Now when I hold one up, I want you to do exactly that movement. And I want you to do it as quick as you can and make sure you do the right one as well, okay? I will also say what I want you to do, just so you guys do it properly, and you're also very safe when you do it, because I don't want you to do the wrong one at the wrong time, okay? So we've got red, which is stop, green, which is go, blue, which is jump, yellow, lie down, and orange, sit down, okay? So if you've got a good, a good amount of room around you, you can do this around that space. If you haven't got much room, we'll just do it on a spot, okay? Now we're going to be walking or jogging, it's totally up to you. So you'll either walk and jog on a spot or you'll walk and jog around the area. Make sure you're also paying attention to the video and listening to what one I'm going to be doing at this, at this particular time, okay? So let's get it started with green. So jogging or walking on a spot or walking around the area for me. Good. And stop. Make sure you're standing still like a statue. Blue, three, which means I want you to jump three times. Okay, one, two, three, good. And lie down. Make sure it's dry outside, make sure it's not too wet because I don't want you to get a wet back and wet legs, okay? Green, so carry on walking or jogging around for me, guys. And red, so standing still like a statue. And sit down. So if you take a chair outside, make sure it's not raining, you can sit down on the chair, can't you? And green, walking around, jogging around for me, guys. And blue, two, jump twice for me, guys. One, two, good. Yellow, lie down again for me. And red, stay still like a statue, lying down. Good. Now sit back up. Good. Walking and jogging around for me, guys. Fantastic. Let's try blue four this time. So four jumps. One, two, three, four. Good. And walking and jogging around again for me. Sit down. And stay still. Good, fantastic. Well done, everybody. That's our warm up for today. Now we're going to move on to a throwing and catching activity. A couple of things to remember, make sure you've got a good amount of room. If not, don't worry about it. If you've got someone to do this with, fantastic. If not, we can just be throwing the ball off a sensible wall, not inside the house where we can break things. Make sure you're in a room with nothing around you which you could break or hurt yourself on. And make sure if you're with somebody else, make sure they know what they're doing as well and they're paying attention to this video, okay? So get yourself a ball. Now. Let's remember our catching technique before we start. That's nest to chest, okay? So you create a nest with your hands. You have your fingertips nice and widely open. Once you catch the ball, catch it, you bring it into your chest. That's the nest and that's your chest, okay? Nest to chest, good, okay? And the first type of pass I want you to try and pass to somebody else is a chest pass, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna stand about two to three steps away from somebody else first one is a chest pass, okay? So it goes from, the, from your chest to the other person's chest, okay? So if I stand up, I'm gonna stand up, 
two to three steps away from somebody else, put the ball to my chest, and I'm going to throw it to the other person. Remember that nested chest technique for your catching? It's going to go from the chest to somebody else's chest, okay? Pause the video here, give that a quick go. The second type of pass that I want you to try and do with somebody else is something called a bounce pass. Now we're going to start from the chest again, but instead of going straight to that person's chest, it's going to bounce on the floor just in front of them, and they're going to use the nested chest technique again to catch it, okay? So you're going to bounce it on the floor just in front of them, not too high, not too soft, and they're going to catch it up in their chest again with the nested chest technique, okay? Pause the video here, have, that, have a quick go for that. And finally, the third type of pass, a little bit more difficult, is the overhead pass, okay? So you're going to put the ball just behind your head, not too hard, because it can be a bit difficult to throw it to, to be too hard or too soft. Overhead to your partner. If you're doing it by yourself off a wall, make sure once you throw the ball from the chest or overhead, you bring your hands down quite quickly and you catch it off the wall. Okay, remember, make sure you're in a safe environment and in a safe room if you're doing it inside. If you're outside, try not to get over someone else's fence, okay? So that one's a bit more difficult because when you're throwing it, you don't know where the ball is. Your eyes can't be on the ball because it's behind your head. So think about how hard or soft you were going to be throwing the ball, okay? Now, pause the video there, give that a quick go. Remember, we've got the chest pass, the bounce pass, and the overhead pass, okay? Pause the video there, give those three a quick go. Once you've done that now, got a little competition. Now, by yourself or with a friend or family member in your household, we're going to see how many of those passes, each of them, we can do in 30 seconds. So how many chest passes, how many bounce passes, and how many overhead passes. One, two, three. How many of each we can do in 30 seconds. Now, if you'd like to, you can put a little comment in the comment section below of this video of how many you got for each one, and we can have a little competition, okay? You can also let your individual class teachers know on Seesaw, and I'm sure they can let me know, and we can have a, maybe have a little class competition to see who got the most passes in 30 seconds, okay? Now, as always, I want you to stay safe, make sure you do it properly, and above all, have fun as well. That's the most important thing, we're staying fit and healthy and we're having fun at home. Even though we're stuck inside, we can still have fun, okay? Thank you, have fun, and stay safe.